evaluation of Thessalis and Gulata. Leaf. I want to present on from a diagnostic evaluation of size and the latter uh, from the university or I mean the University of Bologna. And this work is in collaboration with other authors from uh, other areas in Abuja and Rwanda uh, and so on. The outlines will follow this performance. You know that plants have been used to make medicines since the dawn of time. And the wide range of human and animal to cure the wide range of human and animal diseases. The preparation of therapeutic medicines for plants gave interest worldwide due to their increased efficacy for synthetic preparation for a variety of reasons. This is an erect, ambitious animal plant belonging to the Nightshade family. The fruit of this plant can be eaten raw, cooked, or in the form of a jack or jellies. It is rich, it is a rich sort of vitamin C, antioxidants, and other uh, nutrients. Although there have been reported scientific uh, studies and some biological activities on the plant, but to the best of our knowledge, nothing has been documented on the pharmacognostic evaluation of the plant toward aiding the standardization and authentication of the plant. This was the door stage at establishing the pharmacognosy parameters, uh, quantitative and chemical constituents, which could serve as reference data for authenticating and standardizing the plant. The leaves of the plants were collected and was extracted with ethanol. And following the evaluation were carried out on the leaf. Microscopic and microscopic evaluation, physiochemical characterization, flow sense analysis, quantitative and chemical analysis, as well as quantitative phytochemical analysis on the ethanol extract. Resource and discussion. This page shows the adaptation surface of the epidermal leaf of the Vesalis angulata. These are some of the features that can be used to specifically pinpoint <coughs> the particular plants, especially using uh, the leaf. Also, this plate shows the uh, facial surface of the uh, epidermal leaf of the Sandis and Bonata in different uh, region of the, of the leaf. Similarly, this will show the transfer section of the midrib of the Salis Mangulata leaf. All these are the features that are used in the identification of plants, especially using the leaf. Similarly, this will show the transfer uh, section of the midrib of the Salis Mangulata leaf. And also, uh, this will also show another feature of plant of the leaf in, to enable the identification of the plant. Table 1 shows the formato and it says formato does the evaluation of the size and other powder leaf. We have uh, determined the total ash value, acid value, and the values are as given in the table. While this table indicates the chemical microscopic evaluation of the salis and gulata powder leaf. Uh, we have a test for lignin, uh, cellulose, tannins, starch, and so on. This table uh, also shows the qualitative and chemical analysis of the salis and gulata, showing the presence of tannins, flavonoids, tapins, and the rest, like that. Why this table? Uh, in case, the quantitative and chemical analysis, the alkaloids and saponins that are present in the extract of the leaf of the salis and gulata. This table indicates that the total saponin is 2%, while the total alkaloids are not 2%. In conclusion, this study indicates that the chemical parameters of the plant, the salis and gulata, 
fall within the range approved by WHO for crude plant and extract. The presence of the vertical carbon content in this study presents the studies and data as a candidate of anti-cancer, antibacterial, antioxidant, anti-analgesic, and anti-inflammatory agents. Further study is being carried out to investigate the HPLC of the plant. These are all the reference. Thank you for listening.